everyone, so today I am here to do a video that has been pretty requested, but also just one that I really wanted to do, which is basically my Frederick Bachman version of my Haruki Murakami video. <laughs> Basically, most people on here know me as the Murakami girl and um, the person who made that video about where to start with Haruki Murakami and I talk about Haruki Murakami like all the damn time. But one of the things that I had been planning on doing with this channel is like when I read a whole author's like entire list of books, I was going to talk about them and basically tell people what my opinions are on their books and also this idea of where to start if you're a new person to this author. Um, so today we're going to be doing Frederick Bachman. Frederick Bachman has six books out which is a lot less than Hergen Murakami's 13, 14 books. Um, so I read these quite fast. I started reading Frederick Bachman back in November. I read his first book at the end of November and I just finished the last one I need to read by him in February. So in this video I'm going to be talking about each one and giving a kind of description and my own personal opinions on it and um, then also kind of recommending where to start with him. So I'm going to do these in order of how much I enjoyed them. Um, also a side note, I listen to all of his books on audiobook. I have them in physical edition but every single one of them I listen to on Scribd and I very highly recommend that. The audiobook narrator for all of these books are amazing and I just really really recommend listening to them. I thought they were very very good audiobooks but I'm going to be talking about them going from my least favorite up to my favorite to begin with. So probably my least favorite which I feel like is a little bit controversial because I feel like a lot of people love this one is Britt Murray Was Here. Um, this one I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5 stars and that is simply because I didn't find this story to be nearly as interesting as the other ones. We follow a character Britt Murray who we actually meet in. My grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry and Britt Murray is a character who is very obsessive compulsive and she basically li uh, reads this story about a woman who no one realized was dead because she didn't have a husband, she didn't have a job, all of that kind of stuff, and they only found her days later. And Brett Marie, since she's getting older, has this very intense fear that that will happen to her. So she goes and gets a job and also becomes the soccer coach to these boys and just a very prominent figure in this little area town that she is working in and is also about her marriage with her husband and kind of just like becoming your own person even as an older woman. And again, I did really enjoy this while I was reading it, but it's definitely the one that I don't re re really remember a couple months later. It hasn't even been a couple months. It's been like a month. But um, I just didn't enjoy it nearly as much as the others. His writing was obviously amazing, and I do really enjoy his stories, but Britt Marie I just didn't find to be that interesting of a character. My next book is A Man Called Uva or Ove or however you want to pronounce that. Um, this one I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. Similar to Burt Marie, this is about a man who wants to die. <laughs> so I guess opposite of Burt Marie. He is a man who his wife died recently and he just doesn't have any reason to want to live anymore. He has a suicide plan and all of that and it's basically about him coming to terms with wanting to live again and kind of finding a meaning in life even without his wife and it's a really cute little story about an old man which I usually really enjoy little old men stories if I'm completely honest um the only thing is I just I felt like this was a little bit long for the story that it was telling I found myself getting a little bit bored in the middle but I did really really enjoy it I liked Uva I liked the side characters I liked our cat character all of that kind of stuff and again his writing is amazing. I definitely think this is probably his most popular book. I think it's getting turned into a movie. Um, so I do recommend it, but it was not my favorite. The next one I have to talk about is actually his only sequel book, and that is Us Against You. And this one I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars, so you can see his books are pretty damn good because this is the third on the list and it's 4.5 out of 5 stars. This is a sequel to Beartown by Frederick Bachman and this just follows the town in Beartown. I guess I'll talk about these together because Beartown would have been my next one. Beartown follows a town that is obsessed with hockey and basically they get this opportunity in their hockey league to really bring some money and attention to their town that doesn't really get much attention um, with these boys winning a hockey tournament. And right before the final of this tournament, the main guy who's like the big name of this hockey 
team. Um, he rapes a young and is basically the town's reaction to this is about her and the boy and all of this kind of stuff and it just follows multiple points of views throughout the town and the town dealing with this happening and then us against you continues on and shows more about how the town reacted to this and i really enjoy this because we do get so many different perspectives on this case happening and how many people rape does affect so my next favorite is his novella and that is and every morning the way home it gets longer and longer and this is a tiny little like 90 page novella that frederick bachman didn't even actually mean for people to read it was kind of him dealing with like aging and dying and like the concept of death which i find really interesting i thought he was kind of an old man but he's like 37 apparently <laughs> but it is about him just dealing with this idea that one day we're all going to die and so he turned it into this little novella and is about a grandpa who seems to be having dementia or alzheimer and him and his grandson and his son and just dealing with the concept of dying this made me cry on public transport most of his books seem to make me cry while i'm taking the bus so this was um this was literally an hour-long audiobook so anyone can pick it up and read it really really easily and really quickly and yeah it was beautiful i i cried so it's beautiful and my favorite of his books seems to be a very unpopular opinion because this seems to be the least favorite of most people and that is my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry and this i personally really connected to because i connected so much to the main character of the little girl and her grandmother and their relationship together um, because I was really close with my grandma and all of that and also just the grief that the young girl feels after her grandmother does pass away. This also has the most magical realism out of any of his books which I obviously really love magical realism and this has a kind of a fantasy aspect to it because this young girl her grandmother told her stories about this other world and she believes that it's real and it's in this world so it's kind of like magical realism because we're reading from her point of view so she sees things that might not actually be there but i thought this book was beautiful but also really really fun and really really unique and interesting because i've definitely never read a book anything like this it also kind of felt like a little kid's story but adultified if that makes sense like it felt like a young middle grade like young girl going on a fantasy adventure but adult yeah. I think I forgot to mention all three of these I gave five out of five stars. So those are his six books and my personal opinions on them. So now I'm gonna get into just kind of a who should read what book and where to start and all of that kind of stuff. The most obvious point of starting to me is A Man Called Uva because there is the movie coming out so if you're a person who's really encouraged and motivated by a adaptation this is a very obvious pick. I also feel like this is probably the most people have read it so you're going to be able to talk to the most people about it and it also is very quintessential Frederick Bachman. I feel like if you read this and you enjoy it you're going to read and really enjoy or love all of his other books. If you're more of a fan of hard-hitting contemporaries and don't think a story about a little old man is very interesting, I would definitely recommend Bear Town because we do follow a cast of characters all the way from young teenagers up to adults, so you get a very wide array of characters and also this is probably has the most plot. It is also very hard-hitting and if you're a big fan of hard-hitting contemporaries, this is the most hard-hitting you can really get if I'm completely honest and this is a book that's going to definitely make you just feel a lot of emotions. And also I do th this is where I started with Frederick Bachman and it was the thing that kind of made me like I need all of his books ever so highly recommend. And if you are just a person who doesn't particularly like contemporary books my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry because of those fantastical elements i think it will definitely give you a really good taste of frederick bachman's writing and his type of stories but also with that fantasy magical twist that will keep you a little bit more hooked if you're not that big of a fan of contemporaries so yeah these are my three recommendations for where to start with frederick bachman but yeah anyways those are all of the things that i wanted to discuss in today's video about frederick bachman my one of my new favorite authors because i did really really enjoy reading all of his different books and i am very eagerly anticipating reading any more that he comes out with because he has definitely become an auto buy author for me personally um just because i have enjoyed every single book quite a lot so 
Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and this was helpful for anyone who was interested in Frederick Bachman. I'm sorry this isn't as long as my Murakami. Um, basically he has half the number of books Murakami does, so I don't really think I can get that much into it. And also I'm not as like passionate about him as Murakami, but obviously these are all of his books and my discussions on them. So you can also check out any of my wrap ups where I obviously talk in a lot more detail about each book individually. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and definitely tell me down below if you've read his books, which one is your favorite? And if you haven't picked him up yet, which one sounds the most interesting to you? Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed and I love you all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.